Hello, everyone. We are welcome to another episode of one hour discussion, August edition. We have we have one of our students, the person of Mr. Afonaki Said, appear to popularly known as Afsa. So let me so let introduce me. Mr. Said that Mr. Said finished his finish his primary finish his primary education and secondary education in 2001 and 2002 2007 respectively. He attended Federal Polytechnic at the Osho State between 2009 and 2011 with distinction in National Diploma in Statistics. He had BSc in Statistics in 2014 with a first class honor, an MSc in Statistics in 2019 with a PhD degree and presently is on his PhD program at the Department of Statistics, University of Bada, Nigeria. Mr. Folabi Said is one of UIDSAP collaborator is a member of Nigerian Statistical Association, Professional Statistics Society of Nigeria, International Biometric Society, Real Statistics Society, and American Statistical Association. His area of expertise is in environmental statistics, Bayesian influence, statistics, mathematical statistics, and he has, he has some publication to his credits. Mr. Falabi Said is hail from Oshogbo Town, Oyo State, in Oshu State, Nigeria. So permit me to welcome Mr. Said Afolabi Abiyotu, popularly known as Afsa. Mr. Falabi Said, can you can you do justice to the to today's uh, talk? Thank you. Thank you very much. much. Thank you so much, the moderator, Dr. Polo uh, Like she has said, I'm still a student at the University of Ibadan. I'm a follower Said Abiyodun by name, aka Afsa. Let me open the Sorry. I want to open Now, each time I look at this question and uh, the topic rather, uh, I used to ask myself that what have I achieved in the field of statistics that prompted one of the professors in the University of Bajan to give me this golden opportunity? I used to laugh. But notwithstanding, you know, when a professor of high caliber orders you to do something, he knows what he has seen. Oh. That's why I pick it up to myself. Oh, no. In that regard, I appreciate the opportunity given to me by the UI Lisa number one, Professor Ohai Olubusoyo. Copy of Dr. Sharifa. After I appreciate my PhD supervisor, Professor Owen Shitu, for the granted opportunity. I will just try my best 
because majority of those that are here are my lecturers from the Federal Polytechnic and the, and the Citadel of Learning, University of Ibada. Anything I say here that is correct, accept it. You, I was told by you. And if it is the other way around, that is for me. I remember my humble self. I'm here to discuss career opportunities as a statistician, shorting to be coerced. I used to tell people that until I see my dream profession, which is lecturing, I will always continue to be earning money via this field of statistics because I started making money via this opportunity of statistics since 2012 when I entered the University of Ibadan. Nobody knows tomorrow, but I don't regret of being a statistician presently. Back to the discussion, career opportunities as a statistician. If you ask yourself in your school, if you are not from UI, there is no how. You now have the element of statistics in your blood. If not 100%, we have the 95% level of significance. We are talking statistically. I have this outline, the introduction. Who can you categorize as a statistician? As a statistician, what are the career opportunities you can achieve? What are the career paths, pathways for a statistician? What are the tools? You need to know, or you have to make use of as a statistician. How will you become a statistician? What are the prospects in the field of statistics? What are the do's and do and do's in statistics? And the last one is that immediately you finished listening. So this topic, you should be motivated to be a statistician, and this will be the actual time for you. The introduction part of it, who are the statisticians, or who is a statistician? Statistician is a professional who applies statistical methods and models to real world problems. In school, they will, all, they will just tell, us, they tell you, mean is the average. Star deviation, measure of dispersion, variance, they will tell us, but if you know all those calculations only, without knowing their function, you have not become a statistician. They used to tell us in school that if you are of the same age, if you have constant, definitely there will be no mean. It's because we have variations in life. That is why we introduce what we call average, which is mean. And once average or mean is introduced, definitely, definitely we have what standard deviation. In a nutshell, as a statistician, they are statistician and professional, they apply statistical methods and models to real world problems. He or she will collect analyze 
and interpret data to aid decision making process. As a decision, after the analysis, if you are not able to give us the inference, what is the motive of you calculating the mean? What is the motive of you calculating the salary deviation? You have not completed the work. That inference will tell us what you have achieved via your description and interpretation. And the last one, statisticians are in high demand across the wide range of industries with position in business, health and medicine, government, physical, physical sciences, environmental sciences, among the most common. As a statistician, we always have different thinking, different thoughts. This diagram is telling us that as a statistician, you be the one to be thinking for those in education, you be the one to be thinking for those in medical, medical science, you be the one to be thinking for those in economics, because you have to have deep knowledge about the work given to you. The possibility must be there. That is the function of a statistician. And who a call statistician. Career opportunities. Now, career is an, is an occupation that a person engages in for a specific period and offers prospects for advancement. Opportunity is a scenario in which there is a chance to do something of wish. I remember in 2012, 12, 2013, when I entered University of Ibadan, I started doing tutorial with, in the field of statistics. Because the beauty of it is that when you learn statistics, definitely you will know some of the science courses, like mathematics, chemistry, physics, economics, and the likes. I started with, those, with, this, with this set of people, ELC, uh, secondary school students, and the likes. If I know it, I discover that that knowledge of statistics started fetching me money. I started the independence. I have parents, but I don't depend on them any longer. Because of what? The knowledge of statistics. Because I teach statistics, mathematics, and the likes. That career is the occupation, occupation of teaching. Is why I start, is what I started during those years. Because I saw or I felt the knowledge of statistics as an opportunity for me to be making money. Career opportunities are a variety of jobs that can serve as a springboard to greater goals. They will serve as a stepping stone. I started then with secondary school, primary school, but presently I'm no longer doing those ones. I have some students that are handling that one. I started from somewhere. Nobody will just wake up suddenly and become the boss. We have to start from somewhere. Hence, statisticians put on many arts, like consultancy, teaching, and research. Some people just come and meet you, sir. We need enlightenment on a particular topic. We need this, this that they are not in your field. They are consulting you. 
That is one of the arts, one of the car, a scientist wear or put on. We have they will consult you. After the consultation, when there is when it is needed to teach, you have to do so. And at the same time, in the terms of research, you have to do it. You have to do justice to it. That is the meaning of career opportunity. Now, career pathway for a statistician. A career pathway is a series of structured and interconnected education programs and support services that allow students to progress over time to better jobs and higher levels of education and training, typically while still working. Now, it means it is a great opportunity for you. By learning statistics, you can do some other things. Career paths are a set of programs and services designed to help students build essential academic, technical, and employability skills, receive further education and training them and training, then place them in high demand and high opportunity jobs. If you know what you are doing, just like the majority of our lecturers in the University of Ibadan, they have different opportunities. They call them to solve environmental problems. They call them to solve physical sciences problems. They call them to solve business problems. They call them to solve health and medical medicine problems. Governments call them for consultancy. With this knowledge, okay, what are the data you have gathered when they combine it together? They use a particular model that suits that particular data in the mathematical statistics. After that, they will draw inference and give them what they need. That is the function of statistician. Career pathway for the statistician, therefore, give room for more clarity and structure in career technical programs using statistical approaches for adequate inferences or adequate conclusion for better understanding. Those clarifications in the method of statistics can as well be organized around a sequence of certificates or credentials that guide learners towards higher degrees of education and work in small manageable steps. With this little knowledge, even if you are not, if, if you are not major in statistics, maybe you just learn it, some of the statistical software that we normally use, if you just learn it, you can be getting your money, small money and the likes. Now, as a statistician, you have some common jobs, you have some specialized jobs, you have potential jobs and you have non-traditional jobs because the versatility is there for us we can turn to into, into we can jump into any version so far statistician statistics is involved so far data is involved like this now Lisa they always accommodate IT students so that if it is six months, six months they were given, if it is one year, if it is three months, within that short period of time, they will achieve, they will have achieved a lot. Many of these students have traveled out of the country and they are doing good. Now, this is the opportunity. I don't think they have wasted that opportunity now to not be useful for them, but they didn't waste it. Now, that is career pathway. It will serve as stepping stone to your success. 
Now, one of the major career paths we have mentioned is this academics. And that is where we appreciate all the lecturers and teachers in the world. They are really trying. They are impacting. Because if there is no adequate and sufficient learning, somebody like me will not even exist. It is due to the adequate and sufficient learning I gathered from Federal Polytechnic Ede. I had it to me when I entered the University of Ibadan. They had it to that adequate and sufficient learning. That is why I'm opportuned to be one of the speakers at least that today. Once again, thank you so much, the moderator. Now, in academics, adequate and sufficient learning must be involved. As a lecturer or as an academician, there must be adequacy in terms of learning. And that learning and education must be what? Sufficient enough. That is one of the career pathways it is. The second one, and as a statistician, or the person that knows little about statistics, you can you can you can introduce this adequate and sufficient learning by giving people what they need. The second one is science writing and journalism. I remembered last two months, I was called by one uh, presenter in OSBC that they, they, they gave them some data set. They want to know uh, the way people are listening to them. They now collected some set of data via the number of listeners and the time and some other things. When they showed me, I looked at it. Based on the knowledge, I tried to participate in terms of journalism. I'm not a journalist, I'm a scientist, but because they have something related to data, they don't know how to interpret, they don't know how to tabulate it. I was called to do justice to that. It implies that in terms of academics, and, and when I was called, you know, if I, if I, if you are, if somebody called you, calls you for something, after you have made, you have done justice to it, you need to explain to the person explicitly in case you are no more there. And that's what I did. The same thing, government sponsored research. Some of our lecturers are involved in this. WHO we call them uh, Ibadan government, or your state government rather, we call them for this kind of thing, because they are in the field, they are, they are in the field of academics. Another one is survey methods, whereby they will go to the field to know what is happening around the world by drafting questionnaire and the likes. And the last one is development of new statistical models. Majority of people are in this field, the statistics. So that they will just try to develop new models. Now, this is under these are the, these are under academics. In terms of entrepreneurship, this is applicable to business and industry. We have engineering, manufacturing. If I move on, if I move from that engineering. You can see this diagram is showing that I'm a statistician and I cannot deny the fact. But I was opportune. Well, let me say I am opportune because I'm still present at the place to be one of the statisticians they accommodated in 2016 to be the analyst for them. This is engineering field but statisticians are needed. The same thing manufacturing. Manufacturing company, statisticians will tell them, if you use a particular product, it will aid your profit. 
And if you use a particular product, it will hinder your profit. By using the knowledge of operation research or knowledge of quality control, the same thing marketing is part of entrepreneurship, whereby there is no how they will not they, they will do without application of statistics. The next one is statistical computing. Whereby life is this life now has gone beyond the beyond the level of individualism. There is advancement in technology. Just like what we are doing, and we are doing virtual uh, delivery of a particular topic. In that case, the level of checking statistical table or, or calculating calculated formula of t test, z test, and the like, the life has gone. We are now in the computer world, statistical computing. Now, if you want to decide, you decide based on the level of significance. If it is that 0 0.05 or 0 0.01, that's what you do. At the same time, agriculture. This agriculture made me reminded me of my first publication with one of our lecturers. University of Ibadan, uh, sorry, in a polytechnic of Ibadan, but a polytechnic. We work on fertilizer. As a dietitian, you should be able to know, okay, what is happening in agriculture? If you don't know every, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't know, it's, it's not possible for us as dietitians, as dietitians, or as a dietitian to know it all. But the little you know, you have to know how to apply it. You have to know the applicability and the life. The same thing in estate management. I've happened to work for one particular man years back in terms of monitoring of a particular site like that. No matter what, as a teacher, the facility will just be there. Now, I've mentioned the academics part of it that anyhow you want to, if you want to, to stick yourself to academics, you are good to go. And the second point is this entrepreneurship. And we have all this under it. The next one is industry professionalism. The industry professionalism. This implies touch of professionals in any industry via consultation. I think this was this, this uh, picture we are seeing here is about two or three months ago when one body, a Zero Educational Consult, consulted me to help them train some, some set of students on SPSA. They know my, capacity, uh, my capability of handling it. That's why they consulted me then. In industry professionalism, you can become a researcher, you can become a statistician, it's possible to become data analyst, you can become data scientist, and as well consultant services. This will be the third point under the career path. Now, the last one is this health and medicine the health and medicine. It can be under epidemiology, whereby they have cases of diseases. By testing the drug, you should know which one is better and it's artificial. We have public health, pharmacology is there, genetics, is there and we have natural resources that is the resources without any absence of human just like rainfall and the light i mentioned four specific areas that we can move to as a scientist or a statistician 
Now, this is the question. What are the tools fetishists use? No matter what, as a physician, we should know more about statistics. If you are saying, yeah, uh, what is the particular aspect? What is the particular aspect? If you are doing, if you are going practical way, and you don't know the theory that back up what you are doing practically, it's of no use. And if you know theory, you know series of distribution, you know series of regression, how they are being used, without knowing the practical part of it, it's of useless. That is why I mentioned that. The statistics is one of the tools I have to know. And you should know both the theoretical and the practical aspect of it. The second one is mathematics. One of our lecturers then, Dr. Adekwadi Kazim, always says something that the drug a statistician use is mathematics. There are some derivation the statistics. Whereby, if you don't know mathematics very well, you will look up. You just hang there. But once you know some rules and some derivations under mathematics very well, statistics will become easier for you. That is the tool number two, the second tool. The, set, the third tool is computing. Application of statistical software. That is where the knowledge of Excel, the knowledge of SPSS, the knowledge of data, knowledge of R programming, knowledge of TV and the likes become in Python and some other things. The first one is the teamwork skills. You have to join hands together. Time management will be there. Problem solving, the listening, the critical thinking, the collaboration and leadership. And the last two is communication. Reaching and oral communication. No matter how good you are, you have to be sound yes, academically in terms of written and oral, at least to some extent. Nobody is other than So that you should be able to relate your analysis to what is expected of you. So that you give them what they want in terms of the application and paper. These are the five tools I can mention for now as the tools by teacher use. Now, what is the question? How will you become a scientist? From your, you have to start from your secondary school. Is it that you, you know, you, we, in our secondary school, we always have one particular aspect in mathematics. We call it statistics. Majority of us always run from it. But it's highly important. All those studies, frequency, F, summation F, S over summation F, all those things, you have to know it very well. Your secondary school, high school, learn statistics, be a science student, computer science, and English are subjects worth studying. You have to study them well, very well. And English is very paramount so that you know how to interface, you know how to communicate with your clients. When you now reach higher institution, statistics or applied mathematics are closely related. The last one was graduate. A master's degree or PhD in a specialized statistical field is required for many career fields as far as sciences is concerned. That is the first thing you have to know to become a scientist. That is number one. Education must be involved. Number two is skills. You have to develop your skills very well. 
the quantitative skill in terms of mathematics, statistics, science, the problem solving skills, analysis, teamwork. Once you have, <coughs> once you see data, how will you approach it? For regression data, how will you how how does it look like? And some other things like that. The next one is communication skills. Can you read and understand well? When you speak, can you read listen to them well? And so on. Computer programming languages. You should be able to know how to write programs. Like how programming, Python, if this also has program, all those things. And the last one is foundation in the field of application. When you want to apply any particular field of statistics. What are the past records? Those are what they call literature review. Know them very well, it's part of the skill. Those are the things you need to know. And the last one is opportunities. The last one of these is opportunities. The diversity is highly good for a statistician because we will know more about the research. The advancement. When you start from A, before you know it, God will elevate you to A squared. Before you know it, you move on and you move on. And the last one is volatility. Challenging and exciting field of application is also important. You know, I mentioned different type of things. It's not possible to know how the field, but the little you know there, make sure you know it well, so that you won't, interp you won't interpret wrongly or do something that will not be in the literature. Now, the last one. What are the prospects in the field of statistics? The prospect in the field of statistics. Start developing the domain knowledge. It's what you know to teach, and it's what you know to tell somebody about. Definitely, knowledge is highly important. Just like the motto of the University of Ibadan, Rector that were reform. Knowledge and sound judgment. It is that knowledge that will lead you to the adequate judgment in your path on a particular data. The second thing you have to do so as to prospect in the field of statistics to have prospect is join professional body or professional bodies. I remember 2018, you are seeing one picture underneath. When I joined IBS, that was the year I was granted the, uh, the grant, the $3,000 grant. But God willing, I was unable to go based on some reason or the other. But I appreciated it. Because had it been I have not joined, I wouldn't have seen that opportunity. And the other one is when we went to Calabar under PSSN. Many pictures are there, but I, I, many pictures, there are many pictures. I don't want to put everything there. The NSA is there. They are one of the professional body, the same people abroad and, and the likes. ISI is there, you can join. Likewise, AN, ASA, ASA. There are many like that. Join professional body. In that professional body, your lecturers will be there, your senior colleagues will be there, your colleagues will be there, your junior colleagues will be there. You will learn from them because learning is a continual process. Learning is a continual process, just a continual distribution. The third one on what to do to have that prospect is build your work experience. 
through internship or volunteering. And that is what Lisa is doing. They will groom you so that you build yourself. You have experience, you will have analyzed different types of data, you will have seen what is what and the like. The last one, continue to develop your technical skills. This is highly important. Don't relent. Don't relent and don't relent. What to ignore? Pessimism. No matter how brilliant you are, try to, try to motivate yourself with good attitude. Don't have bad attitude at all. Ignore that one in your characteristics on your future. The second one of what to ignore, misconception. Somebody did statistics, presently, it's not, a, it's not an Okada, Okada rider. You don't listen to that. Though, what will be, will be. But try to be focused and be prayerful. Your home way will be different. The third one to ignore is lack of seriousness with industrial training or workshop. Whatever you are given to, you are, whatever you are, given, you are given, try to do it well so that everything will be fine. And the last one is internet fraud. No matter how you need money, try to ignore internet fraud. As tomorrow is, uh, is Gita. The last one is this. Now, with what I've said, I believe this is actual time for you and I, or for the listeners that are not, that are not statisticians, to be a statistician. This is high time to be statistics major. Statistics is very sweet, easy to understand, and it's not about data only. You have interpreted data. This is the time to become a statistician. This is the actual time for you to characterize data with statistics by contacting or consulting UI LISA, University of Virginia Laboratory for Interdisciplinary Statistics Analysis. Consult them, you will learn more, you will gain more. And you can also consult your internet positively. Mark my word, positively to see where studies can be learned effectively. Thanks so much for listening. Once again, I appreciate Professor Olubusuye Ohai of the University of Ibadan, Ohi Rada, for this golden opportunity, courtesy of Dr. Sharifa. Thanks so much. It is highly appreciated. Uh, oh, that was a great one. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you very much. We really appreciate you for coming. We invite you and we invite you and you did justice to that uh, topic. So I don't know if our participants, the students in Starbo from the audience, if you have any question. Okay, I can see one question from from the chat. The question says, I have questions, sir. Let me, can you see the question in the chat or I should read it? How can we advance in public health with a degree in statistics? What are the available scholarships? That is the question. Can you quickly respond to that? Okay. Uh, in public health, we have, in fact, presently now, in abroad, because I have one friend over there, after his program in University of Ibadan here, he proceeded to uh, United States of America for his MSc program, and he's diverted generally to public health, and is a statistician based on scholarship. It's very easy. Over there, scholarship, scholarship is very easy over there for public health. And so far, you're a statistician, the possibility is there for you. You can divert to anywhere. 
one, one of them also diverted to computer science. I even have one, one of our senior colleagues. Uh, he's now an IT, uh, he's now a programmer, from statistician to a programmer. It's very easy. So far, you have your degree in statistics. That's just it, man. Or sir. Okay, I think uh, Dr. Fatim, I did what you said, he has some comments. Can you quickly yes. let us have your comments? Okay, sir. Okay, uh, I don't know if uh, everyone is hearing me clearly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, we can, we can hear you. Okay, I want to appreciate uh, the speaker. You've done a very good job. I also want to use this opportunity to appreciate uh, Professor Yolibusoye. Uh, one of my mentor on the Lisa um, team uh, for this uh, uh, program. Uh, actually, I, um, I'm i going to make some comment about this. Uh, I want to say you've really done a very, very great job. Uh, I'm going to say something from my experience too uh, as a statistician. Um, I remember, you know, I actually wanted to study petroleum engineering then you know, in the UI. Uh, but uh, if I have not studied statistics, how will I be able to start, I mean, to park my statistical car in everybody's backyard? I'm going to say that again. If I have not studied statistics, how will I be able to park my statistical car in everybody's backyard, because um, being statisticians or, or, or having statistical training, you know, that will give us an opportunity, you know, to be able to uh, participate or to be able to last with every other uh, discipline. Um, you know, there's something I quickly want to talk about. Uh, I realize that we are kind of um, talented in Africa. Um, you know, with the way people play with the internet, oh my God, if they can actually commit, like, you know, to that, to data analysis, the knowledge of, um, you know, uh, browsing, the knowledge, you know, some people, you normally do what I call fraud and stuff like that, why not, you know, exploit statistical knowledge, you know, try to, you know, use that very interface for something that is highly productive. Because I want to tell you, um, we find ourselves in a world uh, that is kind of stochastic in nature. We need knowledge. We need information to be able to live successfully in this world. We want to understand our political environment. We want to understand our medical environment. In fact, our marital, uh, you know, situations. I want to tell us that without statistics, we'll not be able to do that. Are you surprised that majority of those who are very, who are making it in religious circle actually pass through mathematical related subjects? Have you ever, you know, asked why? Statistically speaking, you can find out those in the top, um, you know, in a religious circle in the world, pass through mathematical discipline, because apart from application of statistics in other fields, if you have read your statistics very well, that will enable you to appreciate the, uh, uh, the, the mightiness of God Almighty. You don't, you, you don't, you don't realize that? Look at the uncertainty you know, in a statistical model, that is the place of God Almighty. It will enable everyone to fear God. You will understand that in every situation, you can never get exactness. Look at what is happening in Afghanistan. Why the intelligence of the United States let them down. How, why is it that they were not able to know that the Taliban we actually took over from the government of Afghanistan. That is a certainty that we're talking about. And that is the reason 
And for those who are studying statistics, and I think I appreciate what the speaker said about misconception. Oh, somebody studies statistics and is riding Okada or is doing this. I graduated in UI in 27, 20, 2007 with a first class, and I was not able to get a job after, until after five years. Did I, did I, did I actually um, lose hope? No. You need to have what I call the spirit of endurance and perseverance. I heard the speaker mm -hmm. talking about organizing oh. tutorials, you know, like teaching people, having hope, doing other stuff. When you, when you have hope, when you have endurance, patience, don't be rushed. Like, forget about the life things. Like, oh, these people are doing this and you want to do that. Oh, my God. That is not going to end you end well. But at the end, imagine somebody finished on the first class, 2007, was not able to get a job on the 2012. I could remember then, in the, in, I mean, when I organ, used to organize tutorial from school to school, when, I'm, when I teach 12 subjects. I remember that. But at the end of the day today, I'm a lecturer in the United States and also an assistant director of undergraduate studies in the most prestigious university. And what I'm trying to tell everyone today listening, whether you are student or whatever, don't ever lose hope. The only thing you can do, concentrate, like us. Don't restrict yourself. Knowledge cannot be restricted. Move around, get information. And that is what will make you to live with this world successfully. Once again, uh, there's a lot to talk about, but I want to give kudos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to give kudos to the speaker because you make me remember those days. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Kazim Adikoju. That was a very brief uh, comment. So I think I have a question in the chat by um, Mr. Emmanuel. Let me see the question. So he said, he has a question. What are the relevant technical skills we need to improve on? So can you quickly address that? Okay, thank you so much, Ma. The technical skills we need to improve on, one of them is our experience. At least if you have seen something before, maybe you have drawn something in your presence, try to emulate it and try to know it based on your experience, try to improve your technical skills, and also increase customer satisfaction as well. If you are given any job to be done, nobody is perfect. If it is also something you can do, ah, this is also, I've not done it before, let them know. Probably you might be able to end up doing it well, but let them know your capacity first, and also like that. And the last one is that try to reduce people's problems. If they give you a huge work to do, ah, this is too bad, I cannot get all those stuff. Don't do that. That is what I mean by technical skills. I don't know if my lecturers have what they can have to do. No problem. All right, I'm done. Okay, thank you. Prof, he has left. Okay, I think Prof has left. So, okay, the message is, okay, he said, apology, I have to leave now. So really appreciate the speaker and this participant. So to, let's uh, call Dr. Tekumi to do a kind of vote of thanks to our speaker. Dr. Tekumi Ma. Hello. Hello. Hello, can you hear All me? Right. Yes, you can okay. hear me, ma. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Folabi, for your presentation. We are really very grateful for all the insights that you have provided as a career opportunities for prospective students in statistics and those that are already studying um, statistics. We are very grateful for your consistency and for the lecture. Thank you very much.
to our, our, our um, um, listeners too. We say thank you. We Without you, we will not be here. We are very grateful for joining our lecture series. Thank you very much. Thank you everybody for participating in today's program. Over to you, um, Dr. Sherifat. <laughs>